What is happening, collectors? We have got a little bit of a Tyranitar tin to go through today. These have been out for a little while, and I actually opened up the Empoleon one uh, two days ago, and I'm gonna say at the end of this video, you gotta, I'm gonna try and remind you at the end of this video because you gotta see it. It was a good tin, and then I opened up a couple packs afterwards, and you're gonna wanna see it. You're gonna wanna see it if you did not see it. So, we're opening up this Tyranitar tin. Um, I mean, it comes with the same artwork or the same card that you get from Battle Styles, and there's obviously, you could get the Empoleon version. You get five packs in here, and the pack selection isn't too bad, and we'll go through that in a moment. Um, yeah, it's not a bad tin, to be honest with you. If you're looking for something good and you wanna rip some Pokemon cards, this is, this is not a bad box tin thingamajig that you can buy um sometimes they just fill it with packs like sun and moon base or steam siege or you know uh, i mean crimson invasion which i don't mind crimson invasion but you get this lovely lovely sword and shield 109 card there is a code card for somebody hopefully you can make use of that and again you get five packs in this you get two battle styles Darkness of Blaze, still looking for that Charizard VMAX. You get a Sword and Shield, and then a Guardian's Rising. Guardian's Rising is probably the least, uh, the least interesting, I would say, but there is still, like, I think it's a, a Rainbow Rare Sylveon. Um, <laughs> you would think, since I recorded the last video, that I would figure that out by now, but we are going to be cracking into these today, and again, at the end of this video, we might... We might open up some battle styles if we've got some more time. Remember to garbage. There's a garbage right there. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> with all the all the times I've been opening up, open up Pokemon cards, I have not come up with a good system. But we're going to open it up. Hopefully we're going to get something good. As I uh, said kind of in my last video, I find these tins are often not great. And then when I said that, I got an amazing card. So hopefully I get proven wrong again today. Beldum Reverse, and we've got a Lilligant that has been crimped. Look at that. Oh, man. Jeez. Not not crazy. Not a crazy crimping, but like, you know, noticeable more on the front, actually. You can barely even see it on the back. It just barely got it. That's pretty unique. That's kind of cool. Um, you know, you don't see that too often. I think I've only ever seen that maybe one other time that was a little more prevalent than that um but that's that's kind of neat i mean i definitely don't need that card so right garbage right there right right um by the way my name is mark i'm the millennial collector i open up pokemon cards and on youtube yes you are on youtube right now so if you could hit the subscribe button Hit the notification bells. I don't mention that one at all. If you guys could, I would appreciate it because in some videos, I do giveaways and I don't even mention that I'm doing giveaways. There's not gonna be one, kind of spoiler alert. There's not one in today's video, but there will be in probably the next video. So, you know, and thumbs up. You guys know the drill. You've been here before, right, on YouTube? Bellsprout, and we've got a Vavillion. Wow, that's great. That's great. Battle Styles. Not my favorite set. Some awesome alternate arts in this set that I have <laughs> that I have not got. I have not got any of the alternate arts. Right, I forgot the garbage was on the other side. I have not got any of the alternate arts yet um, from this set, but I've done quite well on Chilling Rain. And hopefully we can continue that today. Not to spoil, again, that video that you're going to check out after this one, but you're going to want to check it out for the Chilling Rain reasons. Chilling Rain Reasons, Glam Meow, and a Phalanx. Cool beans. Cool beans. Pokemon cards are great. I like opening up Pokemon cards. Sword and Shield. Uh, this, I have not, like, I, I've done half decent. All right, the garbage is, see, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, this is, this is my first day on YouTube. This is my first day. Good thing I have you guys supporting me, regardless to what happens on a video. I appreciate it. Honestly, I really do. Glamian Ponyta, we're gonna save that one for my daughter. She has about 1,200 of those, but she can't get enough of them because, you know. Vitality Band Reverse, and we've got a Stonjourner, non-holographic. So, the good news is we've left the best for last. We've left Darkness Ablaze. I'm still looking for Charizard VMAX. 
I've opened it up three times, but they were not packs for me. They were packs that I, that I have done in live breaks. Um, and I pulled it, um, uh, yeah, I pulled it three times for other people, which is fantastic. So we're gonna bring some fire. And again, after this, um, I'm gonna be opening up some chill and rain because why not? Why not get some chill and rain? But this, if there is nothing in this pack, that would be the story of my life on tins in general. Clink and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. So look at that. Swung and a miss out of all those packs. And that's just, that's the collection boxes and tins I find are just not, uh, I mean, for me, I struggle with them. I don't know about you guys, but I struggle with them. Um, I rarely am like, yay, that was an, un like, I got my money's worth out of that box or tin right you get the you get the promo card which is all well and good and that's like often that's your gimme but yeah let's see maybe chill and rain is going to bring us luck today coughing delibird farfetched porygon we've got a reverse rare malamar and a cabolion holographic all right well hey that means a green code card or sorry white green and white code card those are the words I was looking for, but hopefully we can get something good today. Um, Pokemon cards, this is just, it's part of, uh, part of the deal, is that some packs are good and some aren't. And, you know, that makes the good packs that much more exciting. And that is what I remind myself when I string 10 green code cards together. So, Larvesta, Inke, Rockruff, Ghastly. We've got a Galarian Slowpoke and a Banette non hollow graphic throwing the card around there we go here we go i would take chicken legs let's go for some chicken legs valerian zapdos you have been summoned that is what i am going to tell myself we're going to get some alternate art goodness or like rainbow rare or gold 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 snorlax hmm, that'd be kind of cool porygon 2 raboot Swirlix, Sneasel, Snover, Blitzel, a Reverse Flannery, and we have got a Holographic Thunderous. Very cool artwork. I'm not a huge fan of the Thunderous and Tornadus and the last one that I'm committing at this moment. Shadow Rider, the Calyrex. Those are the cards, you know, uh, are worth a, a decent a decent coin. I have not pulled any of those yet. In fact, even the VMAXs, I have not pulled the VMAXs. Um, which is kind of crazy. Those are some, like, I think I'm only missing, like, a couple hollows and a couple V-Maxes at this point. And then the V Full Arts and the Full Art Trainers and the Secret Rares. That's, that's really all I'm missing. Caitlyn Reverse. And we've got a Zarud. And in fact, ooh, I wonder if Zarud is one of the ones I need. It may be, I may have got it recently, but I know at one point I needed it. Go figure. Go figure. That It's a card that I at some point needed. Um... At some point recently, I should say. But I would like to get something. I'm opening these packs out of a booster box, by the way. Um, booster boxes, for me, I have, uh, you know, I've got the um, the full art uh, alternate arts out of them. But apart from that, I would say in terms of the volume of hits, uh, it's not been it's not been stellar. So, like I hear some people getting 12. I mean, even 10. I've never broken 10. Cast form reverse, and we've got, oh, okay, we got a full art trainer, Brawly, uh, a full art trainer, yeah. I've pulled this, I pulled it. I pulled it when I was visiting Hobbiesville in, uh, in, uh, up in Ottawa. Uh, I pulled that while I was sitting in the car. It was a video I posted with you guys. So while I'm doing that, shout out to Hobbiesville. Um, if you ever buy anything on Hobbiesville, use the coupon code millennial for 5% off. So, hey. Why not? We'll just get a quick little, quick little plug, plug in there. Um, and while we're doing plugs, another website, Deck Out Gaming, another fantastic Canadian retailer. Here's the, actually the last code card. I should give you that one. Another fantastic Canadian retailer. Um, I also have a, a coupon code for them, another 5% off for them. Same, co same code, Millennial. So it's just easy. Uh, Hobbiesville, Deck Out Gaming, just remember Millennial and you get 5% off. So that is easy. Like staples, right? That was easy. Wow, that was really bad. Normally I'm good at it, I promise. Hatterene Reverse and a Weezing non-holographic. Let's get you a code card there. I figured you need those. The Moltres, my favorite, my favorite. I'll, I'll, I would say of the Galarian birds. I still, um, I've always liked Zapdos the most. I've always liked Zapdos the most, so. Let's see, 
Let's get something. Let's get something. I might have saw something, guys. I might have saw something. Thwacky, Fog Crystal, Hatchroom, Snow Rent. We've got a Bon Sweet, Cub Fu, Inkay. We've got a Diglett, a Reverse Rare Spirit Tomb, and... <laughs> yes! Just talking about the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. We have finally pulled it. Thanks, guys. Like, subscribe. Bye.